What's up guys, my name is Marty Malenik. I am a senior mechanical engineering student here at the University of Akron. So this building is the focal point of the College of Engineering. It is where most of your classes are gonna be located. Over here we have the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Each of the staff members in here, Shannon and Ellen, are both very helpful and are willing to answer questions or point you in the right direction. So we're now standing in front of the College of Engineering Co-op and Placement Office. Co-op is not required, however, the majority of the students in the College of Engineering complete co-ops because of the great hands-on experience and the opportunity to connect with employers to land potential jobs after graduation. So let's check it out. This is the co-op office. There are four full-time staff members that help the students um, find companies that they're interested in looking for. And then during the spring and fall career fairs, um, hundreds of employers come in to try and uh, find their next generation of workers. We're now walking into one of the two mechanical engineering computer labs. Each require swipe access. All of the students in here will either be aerospace systems or mechanical engineering students. There is a whiteboard located at the front of the room and then two overhead projectors. So students at the back can still see what's going on. So we are now walking into the science and technology library. As you can see, there are tons of resources that you can take advantage of throughout your college career. You can even check out textbooks, which is pretty cool. So back here is an open study area where students like to get together and work on group assignments. The whiteboards are nice to take advantage of. And then back here is also the location of the engineering tutoring program. So we're now gonna check out the new 3D printer lab. Over here to the right, we have some MakerBots that students in the College of Engineering can take advantage of. You can create your own design and then come down here and print free of charge. This is Aaron. Aaron is in charge of the 3D print lab and will help you with whatever you are working on. The orange printer is an SLA printer. The printer next to it prints parts infused with carbon fiber. And then in the middle here, these printers print material with ABS. Over here, we can see some of the test specimens that have been printed. So this skull, for instance, is extremely detailed. The crescent wrench is actually functioning. This pump impeller was printed on the carbon fiber infused printer. This chest piece here uh, was printed on the SLA printer. This chain was actually printed as one part, but as the support material is removed, the chain links are all connected together. Over here we have our wind tunnel, which takes up most of the space in this room. This device is primarily used for a class called ME Lab, where students can load test specimens such as an airfoil into this chamber, and then they can see how fluid flow reacts over the top and the bottom of the wing. The rocket design team also uses this device to see how they can come up with optimized designs on scaled down models. So we're now gonna check out the mechanical engineering laboratory. So this space over here is primarily used for a class called Concepts of Design that you'll take your senior year. We have a fully outfitted machine shop. We have two horizontal bandsaws. In the back we have some grinders, drill presses, vertical bandsaws, and then over here we have a lathe and a mill. This space is fenced off because you have to have proper safety training in order to use it. There are four full-time machinists here at the university and uh, they will work with you to ensure that you understand how the machines work and that you're using them in a safe manner. This is actually one of two machine shops that we have here on campus. The other is primarily used by the design teams and is located just across the hall. Over here we have two CNC machines. CNC stands for Computer Numerical Control. Teams like the Baja team, the Formula team, and the Rocket team all will take advantage of these machines to achieve the intricate parts that they have in their designs. So we're now gonna go check out the Student Design Center where each of the design teams has their own individual spaces. We have some of the projects that the teams in the past have worked on. I am personally a member of the Acronauts Rocket Design Team where we build high-powered rockets to compete with at competition. So let's check out their space and see what they're up to. Here we have Blake and Matt. Blake is our payload captain, and Blake, I was wondering if you could tell us what you're up to and things that you've gotten from being on the team. Uh, well, uh, currently what I'm up to right now is building uh, our two-stage electronics bay. Our, our two-stage is a two-stage rocket that we're building for a competition coming up in June. Um, I also uh, currently work on building like uh, 
drones and rovers that go up within our rocket. They act as the rocket's payload. So it's been a great experience overall, and uh, I think it's definitely going to help me out in my career. All right, so now we're going to go check out the SAE Baja room. As you can see, we're an off-road buggy. 90% um, of this is built, you know, here. Uh, there's some stuff we have sent out, but 90% is manufactured by the students. We're working on a full drive car for 2021. Awesome. Thank you, and good luck at competition. Yeah. All right, so we're now going to go check out the Zips Racing Workshop. There are actually three teams that work in this space. The SAE Formula Team, SAE Formula Electric Team, and the Human Powered Vehicle Team. So let's check it out and see what they're up to. What's up, guys? I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about the car and what you've been working on for the past year. A little bit about what we do. Uh, thanks to the help of the University of Akron and over 100 sponsors, we're able to design uh, build and compete all over the world with one of these former student cars. Uh, it is completely designed by students, built by students, and we get to race in places like Germany, Austria, Hungary, and Michigan. Alright guys, thank you for taking the tour with me. Make sure you check out our website for information on curriculum guides, university events, and more. And go Zips!